Hey guys, welcome back to Ayana DIY Corner. And in today's video, as you would have seen from the thumbnail, I'm going to show you guys how you can mend, fix, patch your jackets that are probably made out of this same sort of imitation leatherette, <laughs> leather material, and give it a whole fresh look. Now, this is my dad's one of my dad's favorite jackets and instead of throwing it away he decided to hold on to it until i visited <laughs> because he has so much faith in me that he wanted me to fix it for him now this material is very flimsy once it starts separating from the main fabric it is very flimsy as you can see and easy to tear away now my dad tried to mend it and he tried to mend it by sticking it back onto the main piece of fabric but all that really did was made it all crusty musty looking and easy to crack and peel even more now to be able to properly fix this now there's not much work to be done here all right and my recommendation to fix a problem like this would be to simply go to the fabric store and get a leatherette material close to this color and simply cover this entire back panel here all right Okay, so I had the pleasure of visiting Fabric World. Now, they are not sponsoring my channel or my video, but <laughs> I really, I, I fell in love with Fabric World and I've only been in there once. <laughs> and uh, so I had the pleasure of visiting Fabric World to look for the fabric to fix my dad's jacket. And I was lucky enough to find the exact material that has been used for the jacket at the fabric store so it over time it may probably peel away like this probably over time um, wear and tear and stuff again over time the good thing is that my dad can always visit revisit my video and take a look at how I patched his jacket and with the remaining fabric after the project I'm gonna leave it with him so he can use the balance to fix the jacket if he needs to fix it or if he even wants to fix it again unfortunately I am not home so I do not have my usual suspects to execute this project i don't have my sewing machine i don't have my fabric scissors i don't have my rotary cutter i don't have anything <laughs> that will make this project so much easier and finish so much quicker so i'm gonna have to go in old school on this one and old school is basically using needle and thread i am using the snipper from the handheld machine package and I'm also going to use a marker. First thing I'm going to do is pull the sleeve in. Once I have the sleeve pulled in, you would notice I have that piece that I need so I'm just gonna fix this make sure that all the seams are laying proper I want to also make sure that I get the actual curve that needs to show and I'm really pushing in that sleeve because I want to get that done all right so that's it there I'm gonna take my marker now again I might get a little trouble marking to see the marking because of the fabric 
but that's okay. And I'm gonna take my marker. I'm just gonna go away a bit and just trace out the shape. And I'm gonna stop right here because I'm stopping up to the seam line here. Now because I don't need the fabric again to go all the way down, I'm just going to mark to the point that's where the seam is. And I'm also going to just come down and mark here because this is the width. So now I know the width that I need the piece to be at and I also have the mark of how long the piece also needs to be but keep in mind I'm also going to keep I'm also going to put a one inch seam allowance so that I can fold in all edges to get a nice clean finish here is my piece all cut out and ready to go into place now I know it looks a bit wide and it actually is bigger than the space that needs to cover so let me show you all right, so I'm just going to pull it into place. So this is my um, whole curve. So I'm going to bring my curve to match the curve here. There we go. There we go. So this is it pulled into place. And as you can see, it is way big. This goes past the line that I need to stop at. It's even longer than the other stop mark right here by the seam line but that is okay i rather have it bigger than the space than smaller because at the end of the day i still need to go in and fold in and you notice as soon as i fold in the raw edge it just fits nicely into place in that seam area right there because I'm using needle and thread, I'm going to take my time because I want clean lines as I go along with my stitch. And I'm going to show you with this side how to create the stitches. So I just pinned the piece that I cut out onto the jacket so you can see how I am going to fit it into place. And if it wasn't for the pins, it looks as though... It was never really damaged and you really have to look pretty close to see that it's two different shades all right now all I did was went a little way like about an inch extra in the size so that I can fold in the raw edges and get a nice neat finish now, as I said, I don't have my sewing machine, but I will be going in with some needle and thread. And I'm going to take my time with my stitches to make sure that they are nice and straight, right? And I'm just going to stitch all the way around. So when it comes to the stitch, I started it a bit. So as you can see, it's going along pretty nicely. So what you want to do is now that I have my needle out on the right side and I'm about to put it back through to go on to the wrong side to go through onto the wrong side now instead of continuing after this last hole I'm going to insert the needle right in front the previous hole right here like this I'm gonna go through and before I put, instead of pulling the needle all the way through, I am going to push the needle out right in front of the last hole here. Once I do that, I just pull the needle through now. And as you can see, I have my stitch right here. So let me do that one more time for you to see. Instead of continuing my stitch along this way, I'm going to take my needle 
and I'm going to insert it right in front of this stitch here. So I'm going to put it through and then I'm going to go take the needle instead of pulling it all the way through I'm going to just take my needle and insert it a little way in front of this hole this stitch hole here and once I do that I just pull the thread through and it creates my stitch line and that's all I'm doing all the way through and this gives me that nice stitch that I always get when I'm hand stitching all right so here it is the finished results and as I said before I had to do this by hand I had to hand stitch my pieces into place because I don't have a sewing machine close at hand but as you can see any sewing project can successfully be done by using needle and thread it just requires a little patience and some spare time and a good shoe <laughs> so till next time deuces